Welcome to the presentation of our submission, Real-Time Timbre Transfer and Sound Synthesis using DDSP. We're a group of students in the Sound and Music Computing program at uh, Allboy University Copenhagen, and we will be presenting a plugin design for real-time interaction with DDSP. So uh, in this talk, we will start out with a brief overview on what DDSP actually is. Um, we will talk about the design approach behind our submission. Uh, we will describe the architecture and the current main challenges, uh, give a short demonstration, and end with some discussion. All right. Um, Differential Digital Signal Processing, or DDSP, is a library introduced by Google Magenta. And one of the main contributions is an autoencoder architecture that learns to resynthesize audio by controlling synthesizer parameters. Um, so the encoder extracts pitch and loudness and optional timbre information from the source audio and the decoder generates amplitudes for natural harmonics and a magnitude response for an FIR filter that is applied to white noise. So there's a harmonic synthesizer, there's a, a subtractive synthesizer, these are added together and then uh, optionally reverb can be added and in this way the audio is resynthesized and uh, the autoencoder learns to uh, construct the input audio as uh, perceptually faithful as possible. In timbre transfer, we can extract pitch and loudness from any monophonic melody, and we can use a decoder that was pre-trained on, for example, a violin or a flute, to reconstruct our original melody played on the instrument that the decoder was trained on. So uh, this brings us to our submission, which is a design to interface with a DDSP uh, model, with a DDSP decoder in real time and in an expressive way. Uh, the distribution of the amplitudes of the natural harmonics can be controlled by this central element um, simply by uh, setting the amplitude of each uh, individual natural harmonic and uh, pitch shift and a stretching of the harmonics to introduce partials is provided. Uh, for the filtered noise part, the power spectral density can be affected and uh, changed from uniform white noise uh, to darker noise colors or brighter noise colors, where the relationship of the power spectral density is dependent on the frequency with uh, different exponents. The input to control this is both possible through a MIDI keyboard or through audio input. In the case of the MIDI keyboard, pitch and loudness information is directly provided by the note that is being played and the MIDI velocity. In the case of audio input, um, the pitch information is extracted currently by uh, the YIN pitch tracking algorithm. The whole audio output is visualized uh, as a spectrogram on the right side. And the left bar provides an interface to uh, select between multiple pre-trained decoders or to switch off the model part completely and simply use the synthesizer components without inputs from a model. For the future, it is also planned to add uh, modulation and reverb components. The overall vision here is that we can load a DDSP decoder model and use its timbre transfer in real time, controlling it either through some other monophonic input or through a MIDI keyboard. But then we can also alter and affect the synthesizer parameters that the decoder generated using the controls provided here to affect the sound and to use the DDSP library uh, in an expressive way. So uh, here's a brief overview of the technical architecture. It's realized as a Juice plugin, which handles the dealing with the media or audio input. So uh, either reads the node or um, extracts uh, the, the pitch. It invokes the pre-trained models using the TensorFlow C++ API and uses the output of the models to generate audio with a previously described combination of uh, additive and subtractive synthesis. So the technical challenges here are uh, real-time pitch tracking with minimal delay. There is a trade-off between more accurate pitch tracking and uh, having to wait for enough samples to come in to fill a larger analysis window. And currently all the pre-trained models are trained with a fixed frame size, which limits the resolution 
of the generated synthesizer parameters in the real-time setting. So we addressed some of these challenges, but currently the sound quality is definitely still noticeably worse than time transfer in an offline setting. But we do expect improvement by using uh, models that were explicitly constructed with real-time in mind. Both the Magenta TensorFlow DDSP implementation now in the newest version has uh, streaming encoders and there's also a re-implementation in PyTorch with real-time in mind, which we expect to integrate significantly better with our interface. So we will now see a short excerpt from the full demonstration video that is available online and linked in our paper. When I click on one of these models, the plugin will use that model's output to control the synthesizers. While a model is loaded, we can use the synthesizer controls to alter the sound. Instead of a MIDI keyboard, we can use audio input to control the synthesizers with, for example, our voice or any other kind of audio signal, such as a pre-recorded audio track. Okay, so to summarize, we proposed a prototype for an interaction design uh, to interface with DDSP in real time and also provided a proof of concept of real-time time transfer in a juice plugin. But user evaluations suggest that the uh, intuitiveness of the interface should be improved. And on the technical side, the sound quality should be improved, as well as the dependence on external libraries, such as the TensorFlow API, ideally goes away to make the distribution easier. That concludes our presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.